FIFA 22 is here and we all want to know how to make coins in Ultimate Team. This is exactly what I'm going to be going through in today's video. I'll be showing you a simple risk-free trading method that every player should be able to use no matter the skill or how many coins you have. Today we're starting right at the bottom. But before I do get into the video, if you enjoy the content here and want to see more from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you want to take it a step further, there is also a link in the description down below to my second YouTube channel. Over there, I stream a variety of different games playing the latest releases. So if you do want to see that, link to that could be found in the description down below. Getting back into the video, trading can be difficult right at the beginning of the year because of the limited amount of coins available on the market, but the method that we're going through in this video is something that works every single year, all year around. So no matter where you are in foot or when you're watching this video, you should be able to make a lot of coins from this. The premise is very simple. We're going to be looking at rare gold players, preferably within the top five major leagues being Premier League, Ligue 1, Serie A, Bundesliga and La Liga. We're going to find their lowest buy now and then we're going to take a couple hundred coins away and use that as our bid amount. Now this is a basic premise but at different times of the year including the beginning of FIFA 22 you can actually use this to bid at around 600 coins and sell players at 1200 and beyond being able to actually double your coins. And this can be done very quickly as you'll see in the clips that I show within this video. So the first thing, we need to actually research and find a player. For this, what I've been doing is just going over to the transfer market, putting in rare gold and then putting a max bid of 600 coins. You'll see a lot of players expiring at this price. Some with bids on at 600 coins and some of them not even having a bid on. So they expire with no one actually interested in them. The players that I like to look out for are those that expire with a 600 coin bid and the player is from the Premier League, Ligue 1, Serie A, Bundesliga or La Liga. These are the top 5 major leagues within the game and even though it will be somewhat harder for you to get these players, they will sell a lot quicker. Out of all of these leagues, the hardest league for you to actually trade with players in is the Premier League. But there's still a chance that you can find a nice player that's given you a very good return. If you get other players from other leagues, it's not necessarily a problem. You will be able to win a lot more deals, but it may take a bit longer for you to sell them on. This is where you just need to weigh up the pros and cons of each player that you're going to be bidding on. Once you've found a player, the next step is just getting a bit more information. This is finding their lowest buy now price. You do this very simply. Go back to the main menu, search the player by name and change the max buy now until there's only one page on the market. This page signifies their lowest buy now. This price is important because you don't want to go over this when you're actually bidding on this specific player. This is also the price in which you will be selling this player later on, so this is why it's important. The next step is for you to go back to the menu again, remove the max buy now and set a bid amount. The bid amount is entirely up to you. The lower your bid amount, the less players you'll be able to win, but for those that you do win, you'll be able to make a lot more coins. So this is another one of those things where it's entirely up to you. You will see that with the players that I've been using for this video, I vary it. Sometimes I try to double my coins, other times I'm just looking for a 200 coin profit. And this is the good thing with this method. Even if you was only to be making a couple hundred coins per player, because you're going to be aiming to get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 players all at the exact same time, this could lead to you making thousands of coins in just a very short amount of time. Whatever you set your max bid price, this is where you just go through and bid on every single one. This is where we actually get into bulk bidding. And if you have been watching this channel for quite some time, you'll know that I always go to this type of method just because it's always reliable and is always going to be given a very good return. The players that I use for this video is Paco Alcacer, Lucas Vazquez, Alex Romero, Perrin, and Masraoui. Now obviously you can if you really want to try to use these players but as they have been shown in this video they might have a bit more attention. This is why I'm showing you exactly how you can find players for yourself. For all of these players I was able to make a good profit and do it quickly without putting a crazy amount of coins in. When I first started this game I played one game and that one game gave me 2000 coins, 500 coins from the match itself and a 1500 coin coin boost. And then used those coins to check the market and I stumbled across Alcacer. 
Alcacer was going for 600 coins, but his lowest buy now at the time was anywhere between 900 to 1000 coins. So I was able to bid on three cards of 600 coins of Paco Alcacer, and I was able to win all three of them. Those players were then listed at 900 to 1000 coins, and they sold within just a matter of minutes. It was then just a rinse and repeat cycle, so the players that I initially bought ended up allowing me to buy even more players the next time around, and it just became a snowball effect. Eventually, I was able to bid on Paco Alcacer, and also I had enough coins left over to start focusing on other players. This is when I started to move on to Lucas Vazquez and Alex Ramiro. Lucas Vazquez, I was able to get for 600 to 650 coins, but I was able to sell him for about 1,000 to 1,300 coins. Whereas Alex Romero, I was able to get at 600 coins and sell for 850 coins. For some of these, as said earlier, you do not get a crazy amount, but because of how easy it is to buy these players, instantly list them and for them to sell very quickly, you're able to make a good amount of profit. I was able to take these 2000 coins all the way up to 20k in just 20 minutes. It starts out slow because you only have a couple players, but once you start getting 10, 20, 30 in there, you make thousands of coins in just a matter of minutes. Players such as Perrin and Masraoui were players that I started to use a lot later on. Alcacer, Vazquez and Ramiro started to get a bit more attention, so this is where I had to move on. Both of these players were going for 600 coins with no interest whatsoever. These were players that were listed at 600 coins with no bids on, but I was able to get them and list them anywhere between 800 to 900 coins, giving me about a 50% return on top of my initial investment. Of course, as soon as you do get outbidded, if there's enough room for you to still make profit, you can put another bid in. If you bid 600 coins, someone else bids 650, you can obviously go 700 as long as you're able to sell them for a much higher price. If you're going to be selling those players for 800 coins, then there's actually no point. After EA tax, you're going to be making next to nothing. Once you actually win some of these players, it then comes around to listing them. Personally, once I list players like this on FIFA, I start to go through a varying amount. I don't list them all at the exact same time with the exact same price because there's a risk that I can flood the market. As soon as other people check this player, if they see two free pages worth all listed at the exact same price, chances are they're going to undercut. So once a third player comes along to actually buy this player, they're obviously going to be going for the cheapest version and not actually my version. So with the likes of Alcacer, I was listing some at 900 coins, some at 950, some at 1000 and some at 1100. Most of the cards will sell, but those at 1,100, some of them might sell, whereas the others might not. That's when I can actually bring the player's price down to something a bit more suitable, but it stops the risk of me flooding the market while still giving me a lot more coins in return. Now, the reason that all of this is risk free is because we're dealing with rare gold cards and nine out of 10 times, you're going to be bidding 600 coins. 600 coins is not that many coins above the minimum discard price. And it used to be in previous FIFAs, the discard price was 600, but with FIFA 22, EA have changed this. A rare gold player now will discard for around 500 coins. An 81 will discard for 575 coins. So if you got an 81 rated player in this situation, which we were able to do, bid for them at 600 coins, even though the minimum buy now is a lot higher, let's just say hypothetically it wasn't and we made a mistake, even if we was to discard this player, we're not really losing too much. Only 25 coins, which really doesn't get you anything within FIFA 22. So this is why this method is risk free. And this is why we're talking about it as our first trade method on this channel. If you are a beginner at trading, this is a perfect method for you to be able to go through. It doesn't take too much time. It doesn't take any skill whatsoever, and it doesn't take hardly any coins. As long as you have 600 coins in your account, you'll be able to bid on players. And as long as you've done the correct research at the beginning where you found a player and you found their lowest buy now, you'll be able to sell them a lot higher. The last thing to say for this video is that it can be done all year round, but if you're watching this video the second it is released, as in there's still EA Play and you've only got 10 hours of early access, then I recommend not doing this on the console. Instead, do this on the web app. You can trade on both the web app and the console, but the only difference is the console, as of right now, 
10 hours or 20 hours of early access, depending whether or not your previous gen or your next gen. Whereas the web app, as long as you have access to the transfer market is unlimited. There's no time limit for you to be able to play the game. So you can trade on the web app and you're able to go through this method and you can do it for as many hours as you want. There's no restriction here. And as soon as you do want to use the coins to build a team, you can also do that in the web app and then move over to the console. If you're watching this video after the full game is released, then it doesn't really matter. The choice is entirely up to you. You can actually do this on a console, which in my opinion is a lot quicker and you have no worry about wasting hours that you can play during EA play. Anyway, guys, this is a method that I always start a new ultimate team with. This was able to take me from just 2000 coins all the way up to 20k very quickly. And once I get to 20k, that's when we can start looking at some other trader methods. Trading methods that will work a lot better for the amount of coins that you have. This is always perfect if you just need an extra couple hundred, couple thousand coins in a very short amount of time, or if you're someone that is trading, but you're not a massive fan of trading. Let's say you want to be a lazy player, focus most of your time playing games rather than trading itself. But this is something that can be used in between. It takes a matter of minutes for you to get everything sorted and takes another couple minutes for you to list all the players once they're all expired. If you do have any questions about anything, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you do want to see any more content from me, being a variety of other games where we have fun with the latest releases, then there's a link in the description down below, which will take you over to the second YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see you.